This podcast contains themes that are unsuitable for younger listeners and parental guidance is advised. We've got to keep moving on together. This is where we shit. Now we've got to rest your so I was riding shotgun with Chi Chi up in uh, the cockpit. Not that I could do anything. Yet again, I'm not compatible with Anunnaki technology. So my feet were up on the console and I could kick around the console, press any button and nothing would happen. So it was pretty safe for me to put my feet up on the console. And yet, it annoyed the hell out of Chi Chi. She would always say, get your feet off the console. I'm like, well, it's not going to do anything. Yeah, it'll do absolutely nothing. So why can't I have my feet up here? I mean, the only thing I can do on this goddamn ship is just sit on this chair. Yeah, although the chair won't rotate like it does with you guys when we're doing a sharp turn. No, because it doesn't work for me. All I can do is just sit on the chair and it will just stay put. I get frustrated a lot. It's been quite a bit of time now since we escaped the hub station and I just keep I just keep getting frustrated. There's not much I can do. As I've explained before, it just makes you I want to pull your hair out and I'm starting to lose hair by the day because I'm getting older and more stressed because there's nothing I can do. I just sat down staring into space, quite literally space in the view screen, seeing a few stars uh, with their tails as we're going through at hyperspace. Yeah, oh yeah, it's amazing. It looks a bit fucking boring. At first it was all all awe-inspiring, but now it just looks so bland and boring and samey because that's all I can bloody do is look out the bloody window, wishing that we can find these bloody grey aliens so I can get some good weapons and I'll be laughing just hasn't been anywhere we keep getting onto the scent and then we lose them these greys they just don't like to be found we've sent messages out on all known uh, hyperspace bands and uh, we have to then keep moving because uh, by doing that the Anunnaki listening post will hear us and then triangulate our position and then uh, send people out along all known trajectories so we just have to play it smart send out a message that we're looking for them and uh, just hope for the best it's just like finding a needle in a haystack and this haystack was the size of a fucking galaxy such a pain in the ass i noticed out the corner of my eye that chi chi's top was starting to unzip itself so she slowly revealed more and more cleavage yes she's got the hots for us and i don't know what to do about it i really don't I mean, I keep looking at her, and I and I know that she keeps looking at my gaze uh, as I keep trying to look away. I think there's something there, but but we've got a mission to do, and the mission comes first. Anything else comes after. We got to we got to do the mission. We got to find our friend. We got to rescue our friend. Once we've rescued our friend, we then just need to get back to Earth, and hopefully, hopefully, yeah, our exploits will just go around and inspire people to kick the Anunnaki out of our fucking planet. And if I get these weapons, if I get these weapons, we we would have a fighting chance against the Anunnaki on our own home soil. We just got to get these weapons first. I noticed Chi Chi flicking her hair and showing a bit of neck. And her neck was all mildly sweaty, like, wow. I could just feel a pull towards her, but I restrained myself. Although I kept looking towards her, and she kept looking towards me. Then all of a sudden some alarms went off. We both jumped to attention. Chi Chi looked at the console, pushed a few buttons, and then pushed uh, the uh, intercom. Guys, get to the cockpit now. Uh, we, I think we found something. A few moments later, both the man in black and Anna, they both uh, come into the cockpit. And Chi Chi was like, I think I found the grey aliens. Someone just sent us a load of coordinates. It's not an Anunnaki transmission. It's an unknown transmission. I don't know where it's from. But Ani- but the Anunnaki will never use anyone else's uh, technology to lie about a signal origin. We have to go here. 
these are the people that I think we've been looking for. Okay, well let's do it then. How long is it going to take? Chi Chi looked at me. She licked her lips. I think it's going to be like uh, two days to get to this location. I'm just going to plot the uh, coordinates into the uh, hyperspace computer and we'll see how we get on. Because don't forget we're still slightly damaged on the hyperdrive. Okay, I said. Okay, let's do it, I said. I'm going to get out of this chair and you can get a, one of your uh, two co-pilots to do it. Let's get there. Let's get some weapons. Let's go shopping. I moved to the back of the cockpit into the uh, fourth chair, the one closest to the door, where there's not much going on again. I don't even know what that console in front of me does, but it does it on its own anyways. I, no one ever comes to this console, just me sat down like a fifth wheel. Every time I looked towards the front of the cockpit, all I could see was uh, Chi Chi's beautiful hair. Well, she has got beautiful hair. Beautiful uh, blonde hair with a green neck. And she does look very human, but she's uh, still uh, lizard green, which is weird. But sometimes I notice uh, that the uh, tone of her skin changes. But hey, that might be the lighting or it just me with my eyes, maybe. Who knows? But every time her uh, skin changes colour, she does look towards me. It's weird. It really is. The man in black took over the uh, front seat where I, was, uh, where I was originally sat. And he started to plot into the uh, computer the uh, new coordinates that Chi Chi read out to him. And he hit the go button and we uh, stopped and changed course and went back into hyperspace. Well, we say hyperspace, it's just, it's just slightly short of uh, light speed. So we're just below light speed because our hyperdrive is still trashed. We've not been able to repair it since the last incident and um, it is a bit frustrating so what could take a day it's going to take us two days because we're not quite there we just need to repair that hyperdrive and hopefully hopefully the grey aliens would have what we need to make our repairs as well and hopefully it ain't going to cost us too much well fingers crossed fingers crossed thank you for listening please come back next week for the next episode. If you've enjoyed this podcast, why not check out our other podcast, A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs, which is a brutal but witty portrayal of working a job you hate. In this podcast, there are themes explored in which happy workers simply wouldn't understand unless they listen to these cautionary tales from a man that lost his ideal job because of the global pandemic. Be warned that this podcast contains strong and offensive language that some listeners may not want to hear. In addition, this podcast is not recommended for younger audiences. All our podcasts are available on YouTube. Just search for the Master X Media Podcast channel. In addition, you can also find our podcasts on Amazon Music, Red Circle Podcasts, Stitcher and Spotify. We also have another YouTube channel called The X Review. This is a review and reaction channel. Not only is it on YouTube, but it is also on Brand YouTube, BitChute and Rumble. You can also find us on Facebook, Gab, Twitter and Parlour. All the links are in the description below.